Me Hall, Footballer of the Year, Ulster Club Footballer of the Year. Does it cap what really has been the perfect season? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, probably never in my wildest dreams would I ever imagine that it would be Ulster Club Player of the Year, especially when I was in the room there and I was looking at a few of the players even. Um, I never thought I would have got this award, so I'm chuffed to bits to get it, you know. Tell me what was going through your head in the last sort of few minutes of that All-Ireland final a few weeks ago when you were a couple of points behind against Kilmacud and then when that winning goal came? Um, I don't know what um, what goes through your head at that stage, you know. Um, I was just sort of praying that, that somebody would do something for us, you know. And, um, but I knew growing up that we've always been in them sort of situations. We thrive off them situations. And I knew that there was something in this team, you know, if we came so far, we lost out in 2012, or 2020, sorry, to Corfin. So we knew we weren't, couldn't go back there again. And we just knew that we had it in ourselves, that we would get that wee bit of luck to keep us going, you know. And thank God the ball uh, went to the right person, you know. Now, Kilku, I suppose, had to wait a while to regain a, the down title when they made that breakthrough. Mm-hmm. Was it 2009, I think? Yeah, Then yeah. the same at Ulster level it took a few years, and then obviously at All-Ireland level it took a few years. Yeah. So th- there's real perseverance there, isn't there? Yeah, we're sort of brought up that way in Kilku. You know, we're, a lot of us are um, related and we're all a very close-knit community, you know, and we've said that lots of times in interviews, but um, that sort of just stood us in good stead growing up, you know, and we were very, very close and we were playing together a long, long time, you know, so we knew that it was in ourselves to do it, you know. Now, obviously, the main man at the time and, and still was yeah. Mickey Moore. Tell us from your own perspective just how much it meant for the club to have Mickey there as manager and the inspiration that he provided. Oh, look, Mickey, everyone knows Mickey well. He's he's a gentleman. He's very humble. He doesn't like the limelight, you know, and... Whenever we first got Mickey in, we we believed we could win an Ulster title, you know, and getting Mickey in was a big thing for us. And um, I'm delighted that we got the All Ireland. I'm delighted Mickey was al- alongside us. I'm delighted that um, Conleith and uh, Richie was there too, and the whole backroom staff. You know, it's a it's a real everybody pulls together from one to forty in the panel and the whole management team and the ladies that make the tea and everything. So look, and Mickey really epitomises that. You know, Mickey loves that community spirit and. Just delighted that Mickey can now, as Connor said, drive up the laneway as an All Ireland uh, winning manager. And I suppose the thing about this, he'll always, even though he's no longer the the manager of Kilku, he'll always have a very special place in the hearts of everybody in the club. Oh, look, Mickey's more than welcome down that laneway anytime he wants. You know, um, he'll be at a lot of league matches. I would say he'll, he'll he'll not be a stranger to us. You know, and we'll, we'll miss him. Mick, Mickey brought a lot of calmness to it and. Brought a good bit of crack to us too, which we love, and we will miss him. But look, Mickey's Mickey's got his just rewards for all the hard work he's put in over the years. I'm delighted he could go out in the high. Now, 2022 is upon us. Mm-hmm. Richie and and Conleth are going to be the managers. It'll be a hard act for, act to follow, but I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Yeah, look, no better two men to do it. They're very meticulous in their planning and their preparation for matches, and they've learned from one of the best coaches and managers to ever come through the GAA so they're in good stead for that and we're looking forward to continuing working with both of them it would have been very tough for them too to leave us now because we've built a good rapport up with them I'm delighted that they're coming back and look um, we're, we're buzzing to get back at it and get a, a good rattle at the league and winning the down championship is our, our primary aim again because it's a very very tough championship to win and we can't wait to get at it again